Like and subscribe to Zuvi. I see that. I see the mind moving. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So, up. I really did f up, bro. Um, Dusty is blown, bro. No ditty. Uh, it's been probably two months since I've been hiding this from you guys. Um, I haven't even posted on Instagram yet. So, if you're watching this video. You should go look at Instagram as well. I should finally have a post up. Yeah, bro. Um, I never pulled off the, the valve cover to see it was broken. Ever since it blew, I just know that uh, a lot of white smoke came out the exhaust. And there was a lot of white smoke coming out the P, the, the my cash can. So I talked to my boy Ray Renardo Risky on Instagram. Make sure I gotta go check him out. Follow that boy. Um... Talked to him, and he was like, it's either you uh, crack, crack the sleeve or drop the valve or something like that. I'll put the text messages up. But yeah, bro, Dusty's blown. Um, the way it blew up is actually freaking crazy. Um, blew up actually like right down the street. I pull up brake boosting, probably like 9 PSI, I believe, but that's where it starts at. Soon as I built, soon as I build up 9 PSI, I just lost all power. It wasn't no big old, it wasn't none of like that. You know how usually cars blow up, it's, and it sounds crazy. It wasn't actually that bad. Um, I was able to push the car in. I uh, checked coolant, coolant levels there. So, coolant, yeah, coolant levels there. Um, I checked my oil. Mind you, I just did a fresh oil change. Checked the oil, smelt the, the dipstick. Instantly smelt coolant. So I don't know if it cracked the sleeve, which would be crazy to crack a sleeve on 9 PSI. But then again, it's, you know, I'm brake boosting, so it's a lot of pressure, I guess. Like, I don't know. Um, I dropped the valve, which I I hope I didn't, because I would love to sell the head. Or I lifted the head, which will be something that could have been fixed, but... I gotta show you guys some stuff. So, uh, yeah, the new motor is almost done. I basically have everything needed to uh, get it built. It just needs to go to the machine shop. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that in a couple minutes. But for the most part, bro, that's the blown. She, 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 she. Yeah, so. I'm gonna show you the motor stuff, man. So, got a bare block right there. Literally, when I say bare, ain't nothing on that block. Um, crank right here. Um, some parts, that's not all the parts, but that's a good little portion. Um, girdle right there, heads right there, and just some more head pieces in there. So, I guess I'll give you guys a little rundown. I am planning on making the nastiest. When I say the nastiest, I mean the nastiest 600, 650, whatever, whatever it makes in the sixes, horsepower and knife gen. When I say it's going to be nasty, bro, it's going to be nasty. And when I do make that build, when that motor is done and it's in the car, everybody getting called out. Don't take this as a diss or anything, but all you Orlando boys, I want to run. Don't care if y'all beat me. Don't care if I lose. I really don't give a damn. I just want to have some fun with a build that I'm trying to put together. Shout out to Renardo for, you know, suggesting some stuff for me. But uh, yeah, man, Corey, I want to run you, bro. It's all friendly love, bro. But you got to catch the smoke, too. Um, who else, bro? I'm calling out everybody. Not even calling out everybody because I know I'm, I'm going to lose to a couple cars. But I just want to have some fun. And I feel like the scene in South Florida has been dead. And it's time for us to bring it back. So, yeah, man. Dusty should be out hopefully around my birthday. Hopefully the build's done by then. 
motor's done, car's running. And then, yeah, we're going to go from there. But like I said, bro, I got some people I'm calling out. So y'all stay tuned for that. All right, so I did have somebody behind me when the car blew up. <laughs> he gonna let you know what, what he's seen. What you seen when the car blew up, bro? Uh, just smoke. To be honest, it was just smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't like dark smoke. It was kind of light smoke, but just I wasn't expecting it. And then. And you said it popped like two flames. Yeah, like a no nah, one big flame. And then, yeah. And it could boom. It sounded like, like, and then, I was like, no. I was just like, damn, bro. Yeah, sadly. But at least it popped the flame. All right, so I just feel like adding this in the video just to add it to show you guys I'm actually doing some stuff. But uh, we're about to be drop all. I'm about to be. We're dropping off the block to Renardo a glass. Um, yeah, let me show you guys the block again. Shout out to my girlfriend, Whip. But yeah, here's the block. He's gonna hone it because, as you can see, it's all nasty. But yeah, he's gonna do a, a nice little hone job on it. And then I'm gonna take it to the machine shop to see if it's uh if it's warped. If it's not warped, then we're all good. If it's warped, then uh I'm gonna have to have them deck the deck the block. And then uh, surface of the head as well. I'm pretty sure the head's gonna have to get surfaced, but not too sure about the block. But yeah, get this guy the block, and yeah, we out. I just noticed that uh, this car is still here. No motor. Block right here. That should look nice. Damn! I should have sleeved my block, but. I don't feel like it, bro. Just to make like 600 horsepower, I don't feel like there's any point of me sleeping this damn block. Bro, this man finally cleaned up his damn work area. It's always damn dirty. About time you cleaned the ugly whole I'm now looking at it, bro, and it's like, damn. I should, I should have like thought about getting that passenger mount removed, like that little bracket that goes right here. It actually makes the engine bay look hella good, but I don't feel like doing all that. And I would love to re like repaint my engine bay, but like I said, ain't nobody got time for that. Damn, bro, killed it on the engine bay. He he didn't do this. He didn't do this. I don't think he he painted the engine bay. He ain't painted the engine bay. But yo. Look good. These fenders look good too. Sheesh. Bro, this is gonna be a great freaking 2024, man. So if you guys haven't found out yet, your boy is sponsored by Wide Scope Pistons. I got some Wide Scope Pistons on deck for Dusty. Um, I got some Speed Factory uh, H beam rods. I got some Super Tech springs and retainers. I got Type S oil pump. Um, I got the K Miata, something like that. Uh, Type S oil pump kit for the block. I have freaking a, a brand new, new relocation turbo line. Like, bro, this build is going to be insane. So if you guys are subscribed, subscribe. You feel me? Help your boy out. Let's get this video to shoot 100 plus likes. And uh, everybody who's liking, I hope you guys are subscribed. I'm trying to kill it this year on YouTube. You know, mess up the algorithm. Um, leave a comment, bro. Let me know what you guys think about the build. You know, it's gonna be nasty. I'm telling you guys. You guys know how I do. And I like to, I like to keep my stuff. You feel me? I like to keep it. Yeah. So yeah, your boy's out, man. Peace. Yeah. Ugly whore.